Okay, let's build a stretchy header view really quick. The end goal is going to be to have this view that I have here in my simulator where I can scroll and have this header grow and shrink along with my scroll view offset. It's a really cool pattern that was pretty complicated to implement in SwiftUI before iOS 18. But now in iOS 18, it's actually really straightforward. So what we'll do is we'll define a state var first to hold on to our scroll view offset. So we'll call that private var offset. And that will be of type CG float. And we'll initialize that with zero initially. Now what we'll need is a Z stack uh, that will hold our image at the bottom and then the rest of our content on top of that. So what we'll do is we'll have an image. Uh, I have a resource in here called photo. Um, which is the picture that you're looking at. I'll make that resizable. I'll make it aspect ratio fill so that we get that nice um, nice layout where it stays centered, but it does fill the entire frame. Uh, we'll also give our object a height. That height is going to be based on our offset as well as our uh, default height. So my default height will be 300 and we'll increase that by the max of zero and negative offset. Right, so offset's going to be a value as we can see printed here um, that's negative as we want to scroll, but we do want to increase. So we do negative, negative, which makes it positive. Right, so we increment our height by the amount of space needed uh, to get where we need to go. Now we don't want to increase this past zero um, so that we don't shrink it. So this is how we can achieve that. And you can actually look at print statements later to see the math. Uh, I just know this math works. We'll, we're going to clip this so that we don't have anything sticking out. And we'll also apply a transform effect so that it scrolls along with my list. All right, so initially it's sort of as I pull down, it kind of stays put, so we don't transform it, we just make it increase. And as we scroll up, we do want to push this up as well. So the X position is never going to change. The Y will be negative max zero and position. Again, you can check my math on this one if you want. I just know that this works. Now for our scroll view itself, we'll have a scroll view in here. Uh, we're going to add a rectangle for the frame that has its height set to 300 so that it pushes my content down by the amount that my image uh, is tall by default. And we'll fill our rectangle uh, with a clear color like this. Uh, we'll also add that text so that you can see where we're at. So that'll be offset. And then we'll have a lazy V stack that aligns all our item items on the leading edge. That's not what I wanted. Leading, and the contents are going to be a for each, where the data is zero to 100, with an ID of self. And for every item, we're just going to write text item at item. So up until now, all we've set up is just the basics. We don't have anything um, important set up here. I should use a lazy V stack. That's why I was getting weird auto completions. So we haven't set up anything of importance yet. So if I run this now, what you'll see is that we don't have this, the, the sticky header yet. Right? We kind of have this header that's stuck. So what we want to do is use an iOS 18 API to read the scroll views offset and then update that offset state var that we have. So what we can do is on the scroll view, we can apply an on scroll geometry change, which is one of the new uh, view modifiers that we get on scroll views. And we can say for CG float because that's the kind of value that we'll be computing. And so this is us telling uh, SwiftUI, this is the value that will compute based on this second closure that we pass. 
uh, which takes a geometry object. And the geometry object has all kinds of properties available that we can use, bounds, container size, content inset, content offset, and more. Uh, what we're interested in is two properties. One is the content offset. That's the amount of scrolling that the user has done. But uh, what you'll find is if we only use the content offset, we're off by about 59 pixels, which is the exact uh, margin that we get from the top of the screen to where the scroll view is now in its neutral position. So what we do is the offset y is going to be negative 59 at the center. So if we want to equate that back into zero, uh, we should also add content and sets. Again, you can use prints and everything to actually inspect this. I would recommend that you maybe print that all right here um, so that you can see what's going on. I just know these numbers work and they work consistently, so they're not magic numbers at all. And then in the action, we actually get the new and the old content offset. Uh, what we want to do really is just to update our offset with the new value. Right, and by using on scroll geometry change now, we can actually scroll and we see that everything works beautifully as expected. So this is one of the new APIs in iOS 18. I really like it. It's very fun to play with and I hope you like it too. I just wanted to quickly show you this one while I keep experimenting with other cool features. See you in the next one.